When I said I was going to visit every single coffee shop in Washington, DC, I meant it. So my name is Dominique, and if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you would know all about my coffee adventures. I have visited 50 coffee shops so far in Washington, DC, and I have so much more to go, and I'm so excited to bring you guys along. So I figured I would do like a weekly series here on YouTube and pretty much show you guys just like what the coffee shops look like, my rating, where they're located, what I liked about it. And you guys can then visit it on your own. If you don't feel like scrolling through TikTok and getting the 30 second little synopsis, now you have literally five each week of coffee shops that you can go visit every week. I think that's amazing, don't you? I know. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of these videos after you're done watching all five coffee shops, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. All is a coffee shop located in DuPont Circle. It's a coffee shop on one side that's open daily at 9 a.m. and then a Middle Eastern restaurant that opens at 11 a.m. on the other side. This is my first time visiting the coffee shop side. I had went to brunch last week and the coffee to me wasn't that great, but I wanted to give it a second try to go try the coffee side so that I could really get just like the real version of it and I was pleasantly surprised the brew was really light and I got my usual cold brew with oat milk and two sugars and I ended up giving it a 9.1 out of 10 there's a little bit of seating inside but there's a ton of seating outside which I loved so much so I made a note of that so that I can come back here in the summer and I hope that you do too so this is Le Bon Cafe and it's one of my favorites to go to in the morning and afternoon walks just around the Capitol and Capitol Hill and they have just a great variety of breakfast and service is just always so great and everyone is really nice. I think the highlight of this coffee shop is not so much the coffee but the actual food and the outdoor seating. There's plenty of space and if you're more of an indoor person there's like this special seating on the side that people really flock to and try to steal when they get there but I end up getting the cold brew with oat milk and two sugars as usual and I gave it an 8.2 out of 10 and my fiance got the chai and he really liked it I think he said 9 out of 10 so it's a great place to go there do some work or just stop to get a little caffeinated bevy before you go walk around the Capitol and Library of Congress so definitely check it out. The Village is a black owned coffee shop located right next to Union Market and you can take the red line, get off at the Noma Gallaudet spot and then walk over here. It is a great cafe guys, let me tell you. There is not much seating so that's something that you should be aware of but you can always just walk over to Union Market with your coffee and sit down at one of the picnic tables. I think it's a great place. I love their cold brew. I got a cold brew with oat milk and three sugars as I usually do and I gave it a 9.7 out of 10 which ranks really high on my list of coffee shops that I've been visiting in Washington DC. It's a nice place. It's also connected to a bookstore which is really awesome and overall the vibes are high. They even have breakfast as well so definitely check it out if you're in the area. Y'all are gonna eat this one up. So Somewhere Cafe is located in Navy Yard. You can get there from the Green Line and get off at the Navy Yard spot. And it is a shoe store, clothing store, and coffee shop all in one. And it is just this gigantic white room. It has so much creative vibes. And honestly, the coffee matches that energy to a T. I was so impressed. They even have outdoor seating, which is so cool. I gave my coffee a 9.8 out of 10 when I got here and tried it. I got a cold brew with oat milk and two sugars and I also got this little banana walnut muffin and I was so happy. I was vibing and this is definitely a place I will come again, especially when it's warmer outside. But definitely check it out. Jacob's Coffee House was next up on the list and this one's located in Capitol Hill and it is a nice little walk especially if you are walking around the neighborhood which is one of my favorite neighborhoods to walk around. Anyway when you walk in there's the sign that says life is too short to drink mediocre coffee and I it's so funny because it's so true. Anyway when you go in it is definitely a homey vibe a nice aesthetic and everyone there who works there is just so friendly and so amazing. I ended up getting a cold brew with oat milk and two sugars as always and I gave it an 8.5 out of 10 and I also got an egg white ciabatta sandwich which is also really good and I would give that a 9 out of 10 like I definitely would eat that again it has great outdoor seating and indoor seating and there's a lot of people working in there so it seems like a great place to work from home at 
Pierre Gusto is located in downtown DC and when you first walk in there are a ton of breakfast options and a lot of different drink options that you can choose from. It felt more like a place where you'd come to study or do a little bit of work, kind of like an ABP or like a Starbucks. Um, that was the vibe that it gave you. So I got a cold brew with oat milk and two sugars and I give it a 7 out of 10 but the breakfast was really good and I would give that an 8.5 out of 10. Definitely a place that you're going to chat or do work. Let me know if you guys decide to go to any coffee shops. If you go, you can tag me in a photo or something like that. I would love to see all of your coffee adventures and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. All right, see you next week.